chef and a, a line cook, kitchen supervisor, kitchen manager. So basically, I go to Waffle House this morning um, and notice a little bit of chaos. Now, the, the Waffle House is down the street for me is awesome. Great food. They run like a well-oiled machine. I mean, you're in, you're out, boom. Well, I, I could tell there was a little bit something extra this time. And there was a guy wearing a pressed Waffle House shirt. I mean, steam pressed, high starch. And uh, there was another gentleman with him as well uh, that I could tell was not from my the Waffle House that I eat at. And uh, it was just kind of funny because the place normally runs like a well-oiled machine. And uh, today, probably about 25, 30 minutes for my food, which never happens. Uh... Ever, I mean, that place will be, you know, seven, eight people deep waiting to eat, and you'll still be sat down and fed in 20 minutes. And uh, it's just funny because it, it just shows you that, you know, when a regional or district manager shows up at a restaurant, uh, it's just like throwing a wrench in the engine block. I mean, it really just, it's, it's horrible. Um, you know, the place always runs well, and it's funny because, you know, the, they, they staff extra staff members because the DM's coming up or because the region, you know, the, the regional manager's coming. And I just thought it was funny for me, um, working in the restaurant industry for many years, um, that, you know, it, it just, it was funny. And uh, I just want to share that with you guys. Yeah, ate at Waffle House. Food was great. But uh, when regional district managers show up, I mean, epic fail. They were running their mouths to, they were actually expediting. So they were at Waffle House, the people called the tickets. You know, you know, walking in, Waffle on two, scattered eggs, feather covered. And the regional guy was doing that. And he was royally fucking it all up. It was just royally fucked up. So I sat at the little bar there and drank my coffee and, you know, my orange juice and my ice water and patiently waited. Tipped very well, like I always do there. Um, and uh, it's funny, I got apologized to like four times by three different people. You know, my waitress um, and then the desk manager came, oh, I'm sorry for the wait, sir. You know, we're running a little behind. I'm looking around like, oh, well, it's kind of funny because I hear a lot. Normally this place is good until you show up. <laughs> um, anyway, that was my Waffle House rant. Um, two other things. Went to a flea market today, uh, this morning on my way out of Waffle House, and I picked up a keyboard. How badass is this, huh? Check it out. Casio. Da 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 da. Look at this bad boy. Check it out. Casio. MT520. to mid 80s um, this thing was produced and I picked it up sticker on it was $40 of course I walked her on down to $25 and got it I made sure it all worked and um, it's uh, it's pretty tight so um, expect something coming from this um, and also it came with music books shows you a little bit about the era this thing came from here you go the best of Phil Collins electric keyboard music today's notice how it says today's most performed songs and we got uh, What's Love Got to Do With It, Tina Turner, St. Elmo's Fire, Caribbean Queen from Billy Ocean, and uh, so on and so forth. Um, little music songbook here. Uh, Beatles, Greatest Hits. That's all you get for now. Um, yeah, so uh, that's about it. Um, just wanted to touch base with you guys. It's been a while. Um, like I said before, I'm sorry. I got this whole hallet flooring project going on. Um, uh, that uh, I got, you know, 32 boxes of flooring over here that have to go down um, upstairs soon, and it's, it's been rough and busy. But I'll show all that to you guys later. I just want to make a short video. Hopefully, this hasn't been too long. Um, check out my last cool video here. Uh, it was a shout out to Ryan Holmes uh, TV for putting me in his channel box. And the other one, I will find out something to put here. Um, leave your comments down in the dobbly dang down there, the dongly dongly ding. Um, and uh, um, don't forget to thumbs up this video. I hope that um, I make you happy. And uh, yeah.